Good morning. Thanks uh, to the Times for having me and uh, for bringing everybody together to think about how we can make cities work better for everyone in the future. I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes talking about poop. Um, we'll queue up the first slides. I'm working on a project called Street Creeks. And cities have a problem. Uh, this is the famous Gowanus Punami of 2010. That's raw sewage flowing over the top of the Gowanus Canal during a combined sewage overflow event that happens after big rainfalls uh, in cities around the country. 700 plus cities have this problem. It's a big problem, big enough that in New York alone, we uh, generate about 27 billion gallons of this cocktail that uh, could fill a 10-foot tunnel from Thailand to New York City. The way cities manage uh, stormwater right now are typically two strategies. On the right is the, the more uh, contemporary strategy for newer cities where you separate stormwater from sewage. So the sewage goes to a sewage treatment plant, stormwater drops into a waterway uh, directly untreated, but at least not mixed with the poop. In older cities like New York, we're putting everything in the same pipe. When the rain is more than the system can handle, it backs up and dumps the cocktail into our waterways. Not so nice. So that's, again, that's business as usual. And what Street Creeks does is we're basically going to take that storm drain that you see there, and we're going to close it off. We're going to, those uh, inlets that you see on the street, we're going we're to cover that up, and we're going to dam up the inlet to only use it for overflow in big rain events. That then allows us to drain the water directly to the waterway on the surface of the street becomes a creek effectively by manipulating the edge of the street. I'll show you that in a second. And then you have the opportunity to also clean the surface water uh, with bioswales, as cities are already starting to do now. So it sort of layers a couple of these strategies together. We're partnering with the city of Newburgh, which as you may know is about an hour and a half north of here. A small city, very eager to try to figure out their CSO problem. Uh, our study site is, if you know the city, that's City Hall, it's a six block long site. Uh, and then it's going to drop into a pipe, and you can see the little catchment area in the bottom. That, that's basically how we calculate where we're collecting the water from, and we're going to drop that directly into the river. The Rockefeller Foundation, in fact, has been supporting our work, so thanks to them. I know they're also supporting today. If we're looking at a typical street on the top there, there's your typical curb corner with your inlet, and it drops into a catch basin, and, and that's where the water goes off and mixes with all the uh, other waste and heads off to the sewage treatment plant. Our strategy is to actually enhance the curb edge by grinding it out and creating a path of conveyance. That's the creek. And then we also dam up and create a weir, it's called, at the stormwater inlet. And so we allow that water to flow downhill and, uh, and then head off to the point of discharge, which would either be a river or a lake or a pipe that takes us to there. That's our site there. You can see where all the inlets are. And you can, we ran the numbers already. And we've been comparing what it looks like compared to the conventional strategies. And we're feeling pretty good about things. We're about 20% of the cost, uh, it looks like, of what conventional strategies would be. So we also found out that if you look at the typical rainfall in our area, we get about 2.25 million gallons that we would want to manage in total. If we can capture 80% of that, we would need to do a very small intervention. And that's what those numbers were based on. So, when, when we see that, we, we, we suspect that we can mitigate a huge amount of the CSO issues in that one sewer shed. So the hope is that by doing a system like that, we are basically taking what is normally uh, a, a great resource, water, which a lot of cities, of course, don't have enough of, and we're keeping it separate from the waste. So the waste should go to the sewage treatment plant where it can be treated as, it, as they do very well. And then we have this great resource that could be used either for irrigation, uh, for gray water systems. Um, it, we were initially exploring the Gowanus Canal before we partnered with Newburgh, and we were even looking at using that to recreate tidal ecologies uh, where it flows into the canal itself. So you could use that for storm surge uh, absorption, uh, you create ecological and public amenities. Uh, and this gives you a sense of what some of the little bioswales would look like on the street. So it's actually a very low touch intervention. Um, and we're now uh, finishing up our research and uh, hoping to go to a pilot soon. And uh, so the next step would be to actually implement it in the city and see how it performs in the real world. Uh, and with the hope that uh, it becomes a strategy that cities around the country and the world can use to help this you know, pretty substantial problem. Thank you.